This is a repair of a KXHNM300 Panasonic baby monitor and the issue is it's not charging. There's some problem with the charging port. So I will be showing you how to open it and repair that charging port. The first thing that you want to do is open up the case and remove the battery. You can just give it a tap and the battery will pop out and this pull straight up and the battery comes off. There are four screws on the back that's going around with a star screwdriver. Remove those small screws and they're all the same size so you don't have to worry about mixing them up. There's one screw underneath the antenna as well. Pulling open carefully because there is an antenna. So be careful not to break it. Just open it up slowly there. Now examining the board, you can see the charging port at the bottom. And I noticed that Panasonic put this black glue on, so you have to peel that black glue off. You can just use a hot iron, and if your port is still okay, it's usually the connections at the back, but to make a better job, what you can do is just replace the whole thing. And so that's what I'm doing right now, just using a heat gun, heating up the port, and then taking that off. If you don't have a heat gun, you can just solder the pins at the back there. Putting on a new head though will ensure the, a long life for the machine. I'm using my hot iron and getting in the legs of the micro USB port. And I will be doing the same on the other side. I'm pushing it down with a pair of pliers and just heating up that leg so that it goes inside the printed circuit board. Doing the same on the other side, just heating up the leg so that that leg can go through the board so that it has a good contact. And now that it's flush, it's time to solder the pins. I'm putting some flux on the back for those pins. The really important pins are the outside ones. They'll be positive, negative. The two middle ones will be uh, for sending data, but the data is, the lines are not connected on this PCB, so it doesn't matter and just heating up those pins so that there's a contact. You want to use a fan if you're using flux because it is poisonous. I'm soldering the sides to make the, a stronger contact and there we go. You can see the connections are all good. Put everything back in its case and putting the screws back on. Now to test that it's working, I'm putting the battery back in and we will power it on to make sure that it is charging. And you can see it is charging, it has the charging symbol and give the charging cable a little wiggle to make sure it's a good contact. I'm wiggling it there and it still is has a good connection. Thanks for watching. If this video has helped, please subscribe and hit the like button. I'll see you next time.